the yeah. newsroom. It's indeed time for the France 24 debate. It's a new day in France. Starting Monday, the declarations of assets by all members of the government will be made public. Tant d'années où des affaires ont émaillé la vie publique. Trop d'affaires. La dernière révèle une fois encore. Moralized politics. The now former budget minister, the man in charge of rooting out tax cheats, Jérôme Cahuzac, owning up to secret Swiss and Singaporean accounts. Hollande's uh, measures enough to quell the political fire? Well, a raucous question and answer session for the socialists uh, this uh, Wednesday in Parliament, who after less than a year in power have hit uh, record lows in opinion polls. But politicians um, aren't the only ones in the firing line. The banks, where the politicians put their money, are also in the eye of the storm. The Karizak scandal uh, coming amid the botched bailout of Cyprus's bloated banks and the offshore leaks revelations on savings that are often stashed uh, legally far from the taxman. Can politics be moralized? And is France really any worse than elsewhere? Today in the France 24 debate, how to stop the rot of corruption in politics. With us to talk about it, Socialist Member of Parliament, Valérie Rabot, welcome to the show. Uh, welcome as well to, uh, she is the author, she's from the Green Party and the author of uh, Democracy Near You for a Sixth Republic of Territories. Agnès Michel, welcome back to the France 24 debate. And welcome as well to Peter Gumbel, um, whose upcoming book will be titled in English, France has got talent, and it's about uh, the elites who uh, who uh, go to the exclusive grand école schools of higher learning. But it's not all positive spin in, in your book. We'll, we'll talk about that perhaps a, a little bit later on. The France Van Gettebe, where you can always join the conversation on Facebook and on Twitter, our hashtag F24Debate. Now, the uh, French president unveiling a plan this Wednesday that sets up, among other things, a panel to oversee politics, spells out what conflicts of interest there are for cabinet members, and forces banks to declare transactions with all of their affiliates abroad. More from Nicholas Rushworth. It's the week after this man, the former budget minister, Jerome Krauzak, admitted to having a secret bank account. The socialist government since then has had its back up against the wall, the president, François Hollande, and his prime minister, Jean-Marc Ayrault, vowed to moralize political life. And the first round of cabinet talks on legislation for that is this Wednesday. The goal is transparency to root out inconsistencies. We are in an absurd situation, which explains the scandal in some part. An MP is not allowed to lecture at a university, which is harmless, but can have major companies as clients in their address book without having to say who they are. That's dangerous. That's bad for democracy. French MPs are susceptible to a conflict of interest. They can hold several political offices at once and can even remain as doctors or lawyers. We have an approach on this side, telling the truth, moralization of political life. You won't find business lawyers in this government who are also MPs. I am a lawyer and I resigned that position. MPs under the legislation will have to respect stiff new disclosure standards. Several French politicians have already made their worldly possessions public. The entire cabinet has to do so by next Monday. Another tack for the government is to crack down on tax havens by beefing up Europe-wide cooperation. The question remains whether the moralization legislation will be enough to quell anger. One recent poll showed that one out of three French people want Parliament to be dissolved. And Hollande has the lowest popularity ratings of any president at this point in his presidency. All right, and uh, the, uh, uh, regarding the popularity of the president, um, the um, French press this Wednesday describes a glum atmosphere uh, for, for politicians. Valérie Rabot, a week ago, um, it was very glum indeed. What's the mood right now inside of the Socialist Party when you see the, the, the opinion polls, when you see the, the public reaction to what's happened? I think, um, yes, the week, the week 
we did. last week was not the best one i would say in a, in a political life <laughs> or oh, i think for everyone but especially maybe for for us for the socialist party uh, it's true that there was uh, jerome cahuzac uh, resigned last week after in admit that he had some money in switzerland uh, an account. So it's true that the mood is gloomy, I would say, in the, uh, within the socialists this week. But I would say also that the target is there. And we are very focused on where we want to go. In and I think I, I will, I will, uh, I will, I will, t I'm sure you, you know it, but I will tell you again. And this is crucial. And to meet this target, to meet what we want to, to, to decrease unemployment, to create jobs, etc., we need to have no suspicion <coughs> on political life. This is crucial as well. And this is why the François Hollande, the, pre, the President of the Republic, announced today, made some announcement today. Uh, th those announcements, uh, was it, I mean, done in haste? This is something obviously rebounding off the scandal. So uh, what, what can we say about about the measures he's introduced. Uh, critics are saying that, um, well, they're going to be hard to enforce if you're just asking uh, yes. cabinet it's members. True. It's true. If you just ask cabinet members or members of parliament to show what they have, it's we need to have control on it. Because I'm sure Jérôme Cahuzac probably had made all declaration he needed to do. Uh, so we need to have control. And I'm always, um, I'm always, yes, a little bit surprised because in the US, in the UK, you have some control. And so it should not be a surprise in France. And to you're, have you're a member of parliament, as is Jacques Miard. <laughs> I'd like to introduce uh, Jacques Miard, uh, caught in Paris traffic, and uh, that's a little bit late. Mr. Miard, picking up on what Valérie Rabault was just saying, um, why isn't there more of a vetting process where the parliament is involved? Why don't you guys confirm cabinet members? After all, the prime minister is answerable to you, to the parliamentarians. Yes. Well, in, in fact, you know, this question of declaration, uh, we do it today. We, we declare what we have and we can have controls because, you know, you have the first declaration when you step in and when you step out, you have a new declaration that you have to do. So if in between there is something anormal, which is, you know, will strike the uh, vice president of the state council, which is the highest civil servant in this country, who, who, who is a judge as well, he will seize uh, the justice. So in fact, there is nothing really new. Of course, we can do controls and check on every declaration before, you know, the end of the term. But uh, in the case of Kaizak, as you know, you should have a declaration, you should have a controls. If you have an account in the Caribbean islands, it will be very difficult for the French uh, administration, the French justice, to prove there is something there. So I think this is not a case of rule. This is a case of honesty, individual honesty. And this is why I was shocked by the president's statement today. Why? Because until now, our socialist, let's say, counterparts have said this is a private item, this is a private crisis, this is a private, you know, affair. And then we see the president which is, who is seizing this and saying, I'm going to answer you, I'm going to have new rules. I'm sorry, if it were a genuine private affair, it should have been dealt with by the prime minister or by any minister. Now it's becoming a state affair because the involvement of the president. It, there should have been a cordon sanitaire, a sanitary, you know, cordon uh, uh, around the president, and it should not have come in this. All right, so uh, Peter Gumbel, uh, uh, it, it, did, did the president, was he in panic mode when he uh, made these announcements this Wednesday? Um, yes, I mean clearly this has had an enormous impact um, on confidence in the government and in François Hollande as president, and you can see that in the polls. You can see that in, you can feel that in, in the parliament. You can just sense the sort of the, the the unsettled state of politics since this affair blew up. I think there are there are a couple of things that are important to say. The first thing is that 
um, on these issues of transparency, um, openness about possible inflict, uh, conflicts mm -hmm. of interest and so on, France is actually quite far behind many other countries. Um, if you go, for example, to the website of the British government or the Canadian government, you can see how much not only the ministers earn, but also all the civil servants. You can see even how much they're spending on their daily sort of business in government. Um, and what's interesting is in France, the emphasis has been on sanctions, that they, there have been penal sanctions for, you know, for wrongdoing for a long time, which are never enforced because it's too hard to catch anybody except for now. Um, when what you find in other countries is the emphasis is placed on prevention, that you have upfront attempts, like in the United States, to vet the ministers. You have not only that, but also all civil servants in many countries, all of them have to sign conflict of interest to statements that they are going to be free of conflict of interest, they're going to act in the interest of the government and so on. And what Francois Hollande has done today is he hasn't even gone near that level of transparency or openness. He's just starting to say ministers will publish their patrimoine, will yeah. publish their... So, so I think what we're seeing here is it's like looking for something symbolic to say, uh, let's address the problem without really attacking these fundamental issues. Uh, and yes, Michel, do you agree with Jacques Millard that uh, there isn't really much new in what François Hollande is proposing when it comes to politicians? No, I think it's the first step. I hope it won't be the last, but uh, it's the first step. And comparing to what have been done before and comparing to other affairs, because it's not new. I mean, you're saying, and that's true, it's uh, between being a personal affair uh, with Kaysak or something more general. We shouldn't lie to ourselves. Uh, it's more general. It's more general because it's possible. It's possible in France because we don't have enough controls. We don't have enough controls on banks. And the last uh, law was too weak. And I hope that these bad circumstances would help them, this law, to be, to be much stronger because you have to control what people declare, actually, and give them the ways to control, but also control uh, the tools to make this uh, tax evasion. Because it's not only uh, Jérôme Cahuzac. We, we made um, <coughs> an evaluation, uh, and it was about uh, 60 billions a year of tax evasion. So it's not only Jacques Cahuzac, um, Jérôme Cahuzac, sorry. It's not only politicians. It's more general. So it means that we have an issue here. And well, we have to do something about politics, but it must be much more general in the conception of what is wrong in France, because sometimes it's, it seems that justice about uh, money issues is not very strong because it's not such a crime compared to, I don't know, put in the nose of your neighbor. And so the differences between uh, the sanctions, the controls, is quite... Um, is, All right, so uh, it's tough laws, but not the, the means to enforce them. Uh, Jacques, Jacques yeah, Mia, I, I want I'll, your reaction yes. to what the head of your party said, the head of the opposition, <laughs> who's also been a private attorney. Uh, Jean-François Copé was asked about the new disclosure rule. Naturally, I will submit the day the law becomes enacted. That's normal. But why not do it now? Because I'm not going to play into this voyeuristic game and this hypocrisy in which Monsieur Hollande. Monsieur Hollande today wants to throw up a smokescreen, which isn't fooling anyone, to make everyone forget another scandal which has nothing to do with this and is simply about one of his ministers lying and committing tax fraud. Uh, why is it that politicians uh, disclosing what they have to avoid potential why conflict of interest? That? Why is it a voyeuristic I heard, game? I heard that in the United States and in Great Britain, they, you know, strip these all the time. They strip all the time. This is not the way we, do, we behave. I don't care that how they do in the foreign yeah, countries. Hold on, young girl. I'm going to tell you one thing. First, you spoke of fiscal evasion, fiscal expatriation. This is worse in Germany. This is worse in the United States. Germany has, uh, you know, a fiscal um, uh, rule which is more uh, in favor of those who have money. And despite of that, Money is getting out. Money is getting out of the United States, where you have a Delaware state, yeah. which is a fiscal paradise. So I'm not going to have any lesson from anybody on this field. And secondly, you said there is no sanction. I'm sorry, there are sanctions. The point is, we as MPs, should we say we are going to strip? When we are naked, people will say, don't worry, you are still hiding something. 
And this is why this kind of striptease, which is demanded on, on, on you know, politicians and all, is very dangerous because you show, look, you see how much he's rich? You see, look what he's got, etc. This is demagogy, only demagogy. And I'm not going to uh, receive the fact that the fiscal expectations that we have around the world, this is a very genuine problem. I agree. I'm ready to combat it. I'm ready to have more, you know, convention with each state. But look at the reality as it is. This is a genuine, you know, a scene of our world today. Peter and Grumble. not only in France. Yeah, I, th I think that just, just two things. First of all, you're absolutely right that that's, you know, tax havens and the idea that you can actually shut them all down is is just make belief because there are, as you said, there's a tax haven in Delaware. There, you know, the British uh, run tax havens in the Virgin Islands and all over in the Isle of Man and so on. There are tax havens everywhere, and it's going to be incredibly difficult to shut them down. I think what's what's fascinating to me as a non-French person in this whole debate is that we're touching here on a real taboo in France, which is which money. Is money. 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 Well, and money, money is obscene. Money, but you just use money's, no. money's you just, dirty. Money, you know, the idea... No, no. The, the, sex the, is dirty in your country. Well, yes, exactly. <laughs> sex is dirty in the United States and England, yeah, and money's dirty in France. To, and, 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 to see it, but but the, the idea that people are, are so reluctant to, to say, oh, this is what I have, and, and it's, it's just not done but here. But why should I do that? Why? I have my private life as well. Yes. I'm sorry. You know, we are... I, I fulfill a declaration from now on, you know, you've done that, Valerie, as well, where I've been asked, what are your children's position? I said, this is nothing of your business. V and very I well, refuse well, to answer well, that. What we're moving towards, which is interesting, is you're, ah. you're seeing people like uh, Arnaud Mont Montbourg sort of coming out the with his declaration, minister. and anybody who now earns or has more than him is going to be suspect. You know, so there's, there's, a, yeah, there's, right. there's a sort of a, a sense of, of wealth being, being bad, which is very interesting. <laughs> Valérie it's Rabot. True, it's true that comparing to the US or the United Kingdom, Money is a kind of taboo in France. I'm sorry, not for me. maybe not for you, but it's true that it's a part of the secret. You know, we don't know what is behind. There is a part of secret, which is, I think, less the case in the US and, and, and in the UK. But it does not prevent the UK and the US to have some tax evasion, evasion as well. So this is why we need to have, this is a, and we need to have a global solution <coughs> to uh, tax evasion, to fiscal paradise, etc. And where I do not agree with you is when you say that the, the law, that has, the banking law that has been voted a few weeks ago sh would be too, too weak. Too weak. France is, is the first country, is the first country in the world asking its banks to publish every year what is the turnover in each country, the number of employees in each country. So if, let's say an example. In their, in their affiliates. We're going to pick in, up on in, that point. because we, 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 we have to t We have to take a quick break. We're going to pick up on that okay, point when we so come back. Just after. Stay with us. It's the France 24 debate.